President Trump seizes Obama slush fund, gives millions back to taxpayers. Since President Trump has been in office, he's scuttled a number of Obama slush funds, saving us millions in doing so. Every time he does something like this, a little more of the corruption that was so rampant under Obama is wiped away. Obama hid things like this all over the place. People and entities were making money in a myriad of ways that straddled the legal boundaries by doing so. So, every time President Trump trips across one of these caches of ill-gotten gains, he does all he can to return the money to the taxpayers. I don't know about you, but I love that. The Trump administration announced yesterday that it was ending what looks to be an illegal Obama-era rule allowing unions to collect dues from state subsidies intended for home health workers, including family caregivers. It's another slush fund and millions are being given back to hard-working Americans thanks to President Trump. Federal law prohibits states from skimming money from Medicaid payments bound for independent in-home personal care workers. But Obama changed that in 2014. He created an exception, saying that states could divert some Medicaid money to unions. The corrupted theory was that these workers effectively were public sector employees. This is how Obama twisted the law to serve his purposes and enrich his cronies. 11 blue states utilize the provision to raise more than $200 million a year for unions by taking it from health workers who often didn't even realize it, according to top GOP officials. That's called theft in my book. I'd be furious over it. Included in the list of states are California, Massachusetts, New Jersey, and Illinois. Illinois is now at the heart of SCOTUS rulings that strip power from organized labor. Republicans are pointing out that the Obama administration exception violates the Federal Social Security Act, as well as the rights of home health workers. It certainly does. No doubt about it. Just when you think unions can't get any more corrupt, they outdo themselves with the help of Obama. Thanks to President Trump, the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services, CMS, have begun the formal process of proposing a new rule to roll back the Obama regulation. The law provides that Medicaid providers must be paid directly and cannot have part of their payments diverted to third parties outside of a few very specific exceptions, Tim Hill, who is the acting director of the Center for Medicaid and CHIP Services, said in a statement. This proposed rule is intended to ensure that providers receive their complete payment and any circumstances in which a state does divert part of a provider's payment must be clearly allowed under the law. GOP Wisconsin Senator Ron Johnson, who chairs the Homeland Security and Governmental Affairs Committee, stated that, union dues skimming diverts Medicaid funds from the very people that the program is supposed to help. Exactly. This is a rule that Republicans have fought against and tried to get rid of for a long time. It is unethical and illegal. In a statement, Johnson said that he would continue to monitor Medicaid funding. I applaud the Trump administration for taking the first steps to rein in this abuse. My committee will continue to conduct oversight of CMS's stewardship of Medicaid funds so that American taxpayers can have confidence the funds flow to those in need. In 2014, a Supreme Court ruling stated that home health workers couldn't constitutionally be required to pay union agency fees because they were not public sector workers. However, due skimming by the unions continued unmolested under Barack Obama's protection of the unions. Now, the union's illegal skimming is being shut down by Trump. Last month, the Supreme Court dealt another tough blow to organized labor in Janus v. Ufsk which held that non-union public workers could not be forced to pay agency fees to public sector unions, either. Bummer for the communist unions. Fox News stated, it had long been illegal for unions to force non-members to pay for their explicitly political activity, but the Supreme Court's ruling extended that prohibition to the payment of the agency fees, saying even those expenditures amounted to unconstitutionally coerced participation in the political activity of collective bargaining. CU, the Service Employees International Union, is not happy over this. They called Trump's action over this a broad, coordinated attack against working people, and said it would hurt minorities. No, it won't. It takes ill gotten monies back from the unions and gives it to those that earn the money. The proposed CMS rule, combined with the Janus ruling, 
are two more efforts by the Trump administration and billionaire-funded special interest groups to silence a workforce comprised of 90% women, most of whom are women of color, and to reduce the power of working people by making it more difficult for them to join together in a union to fight to ensure that our loved ones can get the care they need to live at home with dignity, read a statement by Melody Benjamin, who CU said is a home care worker. That's sheer propaganda. President Trump is not only cleaning out the swamp, he's cleaning up Obama's corrupt mess he left behind. This is yet one more instance of that. The unions may kick and scream, but their days of stealing